everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with this week's contents of my P.O. Box, so it's time to open these up and see what goodies these kind souls have sent me. And to assist me with doing that, I have Mr. Stanley Knife. I'm Stanley. So Stan, if you could please, starting with the top of the pile and working our way down. Ugh. Oop, here we've got a note. Hi Glenn, I've sent you a few more blind bags to help you get to 100 for your 100th show. If you already have enough when you get these, feel free to keep them in reserve for the 200 blind bags for the 200th blind bag bonanza. LOL. And that's from Barry. So Barry, what are you adding into the mix potentially for the 100th blind bag bonanza? Oh, there's still one in there. Two... DC Mighty Minis. And then in addition to those, he's also sent to WWE Mighty Minis, which I previously featured, and both bags I previously got Ted DiBiossi, the Million Dollar Man, so hopefully he's not in either of these. Moving on to this package, and on the reverse there, I'm not sure if that's a note, so I'll carefully cut that away. Yep, it is. There's a quizzical looking face under there. The note reads, Glenn, I have enclosed some pictures for your wall if they're worthy of a spot. Keep up the good work on your videos. That's from Terry. So Terry, let's see just what you've sent us. Ooh, from Parts Unknown. It's the Ultimate Warrior. Oh my goodness. It's the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Texas Tornado. These are awesome. You'll certainly know what era of wrestling's my favorite. There's The Undertaker, Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal. Oh, these are so going on the wall back there. Wow. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. If you feel the ground shaking, it's the earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Boss Man. And there's the Bushwhackers, Luke and Butch. Oh, this one. Yep, that's the sweet smell of arrogance. It's the model Rick Martell. And then there's Tugbo, who has a flashback elite collection action figure coming soon. I'll be sure to pick that up. There's Jake the Snake Roberts. Go and check out The Resurrection of Jake Roberts on Netflix. It is guaranteed this guy will break your heart. There's the best there was, the best there is, and the best there'll ever be, Brett the Hitman Hart. There's another favorite of mine, Ravishing Rick Rude. Oh wow, these are so awesome. They're gonna add a lot of color behind me. There's the Rockers. There's a really peed off looking Mr. Perfect. Here comes the axe. Here comes the smasher. The demolition. Oh yeah, macho man Randy Savage. What you gonna do when Hulkamania one's wild on you? Now, I just mentioned him earlier. Finally, there's the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Wow, these are certainly Really appreciated. They are awesome. Love those. Big thanks for that, Terry, and stay tuned to the next episode, as believe me, those are all going to be stuck back there. Moving on, and I'm recognizing the handwriting here. Yep, I can tell it's from Nerd Incorporated. Cut into the tape! Let's see Ooh, what we have in here. Come on. It's being very reluctant. Ooh, nice. That's a Marvel Select movie Captain America there. That's awesome. And actually, sitting on my desk here, I still have Iron Man that you sent two episodes back. Maybe I could do a joint video with the two of them. Very Civil War, having the opposing sides of the argument. And then here, <coughs> there's a poker chip. <coughs> and there's another poker chip. I guess with that, maybe we could improvise. Use one of those as a shield for cap. Not that Nerd Incorporated hasn't been kind enough to include the actual shield as he has, making Cap look awesome. Big thanks for this. It's the biggest package that's been stuffed into my P.O. box today and also the furthest flung all the way from Singapore. So thanks for coughing up for the postage to send this all the way around the globe. Ah! 
Ah! Ooh, before I actually get to the contents, memory serves. He sent me a message on Facebook. Yep, here it is. Glad that you have received the package that I've sent you. It's a token of sincere gratitude for all the time and effort you put into your videos slash entertainment throughout the years. I'm particularly fond of your action figure evolution videos. Here's to many more videos and reviews to come. And keep up the absolute best as always. Cheers. P.S. Sorry if the goodies aren't that exciting and sorry for the dust on them. The box vinyl is a Valentine's gift from an ex-girlfriend of mine from last Last year. I sure hope she wouldn't mind. I send it to you. <laughs> and they say romance is dead. And ooh, let's see what this is. Ooh, nice. There's a Guardians of the Galaxy print there in the style of the classic, is it Ralph McQuarrie Star Wars poster? That's awesome. Ooh. <laughs> oh, nostalgia, nostalgia radiating from him, warming the cockles of my heart. That's the Secret Wars Wolverine from way back in 1984, kids. The very first Wolverine action figure. This must be the vinyl that was a Valentine's gift from the ex-girlfriend, Howard the Duck. That's awesome. I've nearly picked this up myself. I really have to rein it in when it comes to pops because there are so many of them. So I don't want to give in to my obsessive compulsive tendencies or I'd soon be a poor man. What's going on in here still? There's X-Men Still Mutants. This is like a big shining tribute to the 90s, isn't it? Wolverine from Secret Wars representing the 80s. And here he is again, about to face off with Omega Red. Then let's look at our comics here. Avengers West Coast, Blood Ties. Yep, I remember that crossover storyline well with the X-Men. Then there's Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher. All of the 90s badasses in one comic there. Looks like one of those foil poster cards that came with Marvel Legends or maybe a Spider-Man Classics. And then there's Amazing Spider-Man. Great artwork there, Todd McFarlane. In this issue, Silver Sable is back. With the way they've been pumping out Marvel Legends, let's hope that Silver Sable gets one soon. Then there's a Captain America comic. Down there is a fresh-faced Bucky before he was all angsty and winter soldiery. Awesome, but wait, there's more. The tiny little zip bag action figure goodies. We're the future now, Charles, not them. They no longer matter. Iron Man mini mugs. Is that what those were called? Nice, there's a Havoc Mega Blocks to go along with Magneto. And hopefully I should be getting my X-Men Marvel Legends very soon. So I'll soon have Havoc in Marvel Legends form too. Then there's another Iron Man. Not sure what armor that is. I'm sure someone will know. They'll pipe up in the comments below. Little buildable Spider-Men in addition to a red and blue one. Also have a Black costume, Spidey. My favourite costume of all the Spider-Men costumes. And then I think we've arrived at our final package. Ooh. That looks like a homemade blind bag. So that'll be saved for episode 100 for sure. Ooh, there's a few of them going on here. Nice. <laughs> I love it. He sent me a whole heap of mystery curios or she, that have been hand wrapped. Ooh, that's gonna be exciting. Nice. I'm gonna sit those all in my big box over here. There is one that hasn't been wrapped. Contained in there is the 11th Doctor, including his sonic screwdriver. Goodness, there's so many. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's never end this package it's like mary poppins carpet bag there's no bottom to it would love to thank you or give you credit so please do pipe up in the comments below phew you guys certainly didn't disappoint this episode big thanks for taking the time and effort and money to send me these goodies and stay tuned for the next episode which if you want to be featured in the address of my p.o box is on the screen now 
probably. If it's not, it's in the description beneath this video. And if you missed the previous episode, click this one right now. And I hope to see you all next time. Mm, bye.